Holding your breath, if you're smart about how you're doing it, can really strengthen your voice. I just finished a lesson with a jazz vocalist. Um, this gotta swim, my balls gotta fly. I'm gonna love one man till I die. Get up loving that man of mine. She sounds way better doing this than I do, but you get the point. Um, fish gotta swim, man, birds gotta fly. I'm gonna love one. I would probably start it there if it was for me, but the point is this. Um, she was struggling with the, uh, maintaining her breath on the phrase. So there was a lot of, fish gotta swim, man, birds gotta fly. I gotta love. And so we did some breath holding. Try this with me. So when we talk about breath holding, what might come to mind, I grew up swimming a lot. Everybody in my neighborhood in New Orleans, we all had swimming pools. And there, was a, there were a lot of breath holding contests where you would, and you would clamp down. I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is feeling the muscles of the body, of the core, hold on to the breath. If you sniff, I call it the Tetrazzini sniff after Louisa Tetrazzini, the famous classical singer. If you sniff in little puffs, it should, let me stand up so you can see it. It should pump you up. It should make your rib cage open. I'm gonna do that again for you. So I'm gonna just do this. Throat is soft, body is soft, I mean, upper body is soft. The chest wall should broaden, the side and back rib cage should open up and your core should lengthen. Yeah, so boom, 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 right? If you hold your breath from this place, you should feel the tonus in the sides and back of your rib cage, around your lats, the sides and back of your rib cage, your latissimus dorsi, your wings, whatever you want to call them, but you want to feel that pressure there. That's where you hold the breath. Singing involves letting breath go as we simultaneously hold on to it. What my student was doing, because she erroneously thought of singing on the breath as letting it go, fish gotta swim, my mouth's gotta fly, I gotta love, but when we sniff, 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 and then she could feel, we held the breath for like a mental count of five, one, two, three, just so she could feel the firmness in her back. Fish gotta swim, my bones gotta fly, I'm gonna love one more till I die. So breath is coming out, hence the tone, but I'm also holding on to breath simultaneously, which is bringing me stability. Practice finding a sense of healthy firmness and tonus in your back muscles, and you'll find that you can ration out the breath far more economically.